Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you a new video. So today I'm gonna go, go ahead and talk about the Roku today. I'm uh, at an Airbnb, I'm staying here at an Airbnb until my house is finished being built. So um, we got this TV here and it's an Insignia TV. It's a Roku TV, it's an older model. So I will go ahead and show you how to put third party add-ons on it. So like whether it be HBO Max, cause it, Roku is working out a deal with HBO Max, but they don't have it yet. So I can show you how to put that on the Roku today. I can show you how to put like cinema on the Roku. It's pretty straightforward. It's only a few clicks of a button. And the main thing is why we're doing it on the Roku is uh, it's just here and I thought I'd show it to you for all those Roku users out there because I've never done a Roku video before. So all those users out there that do have the Roku, I'll go ahead and walk you through the process on how to do that today. So what you will do, what you will need to do is grab your phone because you will need a phone to do this process, whether it be an iPhone or an Android. But uh, my phone is an Android, so I'll walk you through on the Android first and then I'll show you with the iPhone. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do, I'll just show the remote here. This is what the remote looks like. Um, it's pretty straightforward, just the regular power button. I'm not sure if you could see that with the focus on this camera, but you got the regular Roku screen. Roku doesn't give you the ability to install apps directly on the device. It only gives you the preloaded apps that you see here, like Netflix, Prime Video, Sling, just the regular apps that you would see on the device but you can't have any more apps other than the ones that you see here and the ones that you can add uh, by clicking on add channel so these are the basic apps that you can get i mean it does offer some pretty good apps but you get no third-party add-ons because roku locks their devices down to where you cannot install any unknown source third-party add-ons and they do that for security reasons i would assume but i don't know um, and I do know they're working out a deal, Roku and HBO Max are working out a deal to get the official app loaded, but I'll show you how to get that app on your Roku device as well today. I'm gonna go to the left, actually, I'm gonna go down to the settings here. And let's go down to the settings. I'm gonna click on the settings. And then what I'm looking for in here is the screen mirroring setting, cause that's how we're going to mirror my phone to the TV. And let's go down here. I'm going to go down to system once you're on system you go to the right go to the right one time and go down and you're looking for screen mirroring and then once you're hovered over it this is already enabled by default so you don't have to go to this setting at all but just thought i'd show you it because uh, there are a few settings in here you can actually if you're going to do this all the time you should probably just allow it always that way you won't get a prompt every time you try to mirror your phone to your TV. It'll just automatically pop up. You can start streaming your content right away. But if you're uh, a little uneasy about that, where that's pretty much if anybody's in the proximity of your TV, they can stream directly to your TV. So I like the prompt. That way you can deny or allow the access. So I'll leave the prompt on there, but you can decide there, right there in the settings. And then from there, I'm going to grab my phone here and i'll try to record my screen on my phone that way i can put it on the screen here it'll probably be somewhere over here all right so i should be mirroring my screen on the screen right now so this is my phone screen over there and as you see here all i have to do on an android device and this is the note 8 by the way so all i have to do is pull down my uh settings here so there's an additional bar here that you just pull down you scroll to the right and you're looking for a uh, setting called Smart View. should be on all Android devices that are mostly up to date within the last two or three latest updates. Uh, and the Note 8 is pretty old now compared to the newer phones that are out. But you just click on that Smart View. Once you do, you should see all the devices listed in the proximity of your phone that have the screen mirroring feature. Uh, ready to go. So this one is called Winding Creek. That's what they have it called here at the Airbnb. So I'll click on Winding Creek. That's the name of the TV. And then as you can see, it automatically prompts me on the screen. Do I want to allow or block it? So on the remote here, I'll just click on allow. And then as soon as I do that, we should see my phone pop up on the screen here. 
after it gets done loading. Uh, so there it goes. My phone is on the screen and I could rotate it if I want to. Um, and it'll show the apps on the screen like that. And then from there I could swipe over. I could find the app that I'm looking for. So let's say I'm looking for... Uh, we'll just do HBO Max first or actually we'll do cinema so cinema is a third-party add-on that's in the file link store if you're not familiar with the file link store it's all the apps that I have that you can download and you can put them on your mobile phone or you can put them on your fire stick device and I'll open up cinema and also that video the file link video you can find right here just find that video on my channel and then click on that thumbnail and then watch that video you'll be informed about the file link so on here so we got a bunch of different apps and as you can see it mirrors perfectly on the TV you got Mandalorian you got the new Selena movie that just came out on Netflix um, and from here you can just click on it you can, you got season one season two on here and I'm controlling this all from my phone. It's that simple. Um, and then the only downside to it is that you can't use your phone in the process that you're watching TV. That will be the only drawback to it. But if you're not using your phone, you can definitely just stream it to your TV and then let it run. Um, and then you just pick on the episode that you want, click play, and then it'll play right there. Um, or actually you'll have to select the source of course first so a bunch of sources load if you're not familiar with cinema a bunch of sources load you click the source that you want I'm gonna go ahead and click on it but I'm gonna pause the movie as soon as it comes up that way there's no uh, violations there alright and as you can see it's playing there in the background I went ahead and paused it but that's the Mandalorian I'm gonna go back to my home screen and that's cinema in case you're wondering what app that was um, and you can find that once again in the file link store so I'm gonna pull up HBO Max real quick and alright so we got HBO Max down here bottom right hand corner so I'll click on HBO Max and let it load it does load in uh, portrait view so I'll load it in portrait view. You can scroll here. Um, let's say here, popular on TV, Euphoria. If I clicked on Euphoria and then click on the pilot episode, I don't pay for HBO Max, but I will. I should make a video about why you should get HBO Max, mainly because a bunch of they're getting a bunch of perks. Mainly they're getting all their HBO release movies released on the streaming platform, and they'll be available for the first 30 days and they're not charging anything extra so kind of like if you remember how Mulan was streamed directly on Disney Plus and you had to be a use a member and then you had to pay an additional $30 HBO is releasing like Wonder Woman uh, and a bunch of different movies um, and you and there's no extra charge so that's definitely a plus so I might make a video about that might not we'll see um, but same thing with uh, HBO Max here you can watch HBO Max uh, directly from your phone and uh, yeah so this would be HBO Max I'm playing it straight from my phone and as you can see there I, I went ahead and paused it because uh, I don't want anything playing in the background but I paused it but this is HBO Max straight from my phone to the Roku device um, once again this is a older model Roku device so the process for the iPhone on an older Roku device is a little more in depth because you have to download you have to download an app on the iPhone, but I could show you that process on the older TV. But those of you who have the newer model Roku devices, and I'll put the models here, these models, you will have an additional setting under your settings. There's an additional setting in here that I don't have on this old Roku device, but on the newer models. You have a, uh, it's called HomeKit and AirPlay. All you have to do is drop down the settings on your iPhone. And then all you have to do is do the screen play, the screen mirroring. Because um, the iPhone, the new iPhones have that feature where the control panel down and then enable the screen mirroring. And then select the same device that we selected, which is the name of the TV or the device that you're trying to connect to. Um, but that's straightforward. Let me go ahead and grab an iPhone and I'll show you how to connect it up. 
to the older model TVs. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the iPhone process now. So I got an iPhone and this is the iPhone 10. And basically uh, I'm gonna try to show it on the screen here. I'm gonna try to record it and show the screen of what I'm doing here on the screen over there. And uh, basically, so you got the Roku set up right now. This process is only for older Roku devices. There is an easier process to where all you have to do is flip down this screen, click on that screen mirroring button, and then your device will show in there, but only for newer model Roku devices. But for a device like this, like this older model Roku, basically you have to find an app in the app store that will cast your phone to the TV. So I did come across an app that did work. So I did download it, it's called TV Cast. This is what it looks like. This is the logo. This is what it looks like as soon as you open it up. Uh, basically, it's got uh, ads on it, of course, um, but as soon as you open it up, it auto connects to the nearest TV. So this one is this TV, so it automatically connects. It wants you to scan the QR code, but you don't have to worry about that. Um, so it's best to have a newer Roku device, of course, so to not have to deal with ads because you can just go to that screen mirroring button and click it. But for those of you who have the older Roku device, either upgrade it or do this process and download this app called Video and TV Cast. There's a button right here, uh, top left here, web browser and cast vi web videos. Click on that option. And then basically I'll just type in like Nathan Firestick to try to find my YouTube channel. So as I type that in, Nathan Firestick, and then let's say I'm looking for a, a video or any video online on the web, you can click on it. There's my video right there. I'll click on that. It's got multiple videos in there. I will click on the buffering video and it's loading on my phone. And then from there, all you have to do is tap this link at the bottom of the website here. You click it. It asks you, do you want to watch an ad before it plays a video? I did tell you in the beginning that the iPhones, they do have the ads, but it does start loading. Now that we've helped people customize the so it's showing the ad on my phone. Unfortunately, I don't have a newer Roku device that supports the AirPlay option for screen mirroring, but the newer models do, and that's how you would do it on the iPhone. So just keep that in mind. So I did want to bring that to you so you can do it on the Android and your iPhone. And that's how you get third party add ons on your Roku device and also HBO Max in, in case you're just waiting on HBO Max to be on Roku. So that's how you get around that. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.